In this video, you'll learn enough about Unix commands to begin programming. Hi, this is Asia G from the Full Stack Videos channel. Every programmer needs to know Unix commands, and I'll show you the basics you need to get started. First, what is Unix? It's an operating system that existed before Macintosh or Windows. It's been used in universities and research since the 70s. Using Unix from Windows is a topic for a different video, so for now, this is for people using Mac or Linux operating systems. Linux is a version of Unix, and so is the Mac OS, so you're in luck. To use Unix, you'll need a software application called the Terminal. On the Mac, you can find it by typing Command Spacebar, which Apple calls Spotlight Search. Launch the application, and you're ready to enter Unix commands. The Terminal is also called the Console or Shell, because it is a shell around the kernel, which is the engine of the computer's operating system. Just to see what it's like to use Unix, type who am I? That's all one word, no spaces, followed by the enter key. Please note, Unix is case sensitive and commands are always entered lowercase, never in capital letters. After you hit enter, you should see your username on the next line. Unix is an operating system, but it's also a collection of small software utilities or tools. Who am I is a simple program that shows you your username. Every Unix command does one or two things. So let's try another simple Unix command. Type PWD and hit enter. PWD stands for Print Working Directory and prints the full path name of the current directory for you to see. Operating systems for computers like laptops and servers are organized with files and folders. PWD shows the folder you're in. If you're new to Unix, you'll have to think about what it means to be in a folder. Unix gives you commands to move around the computer's file system, as if you're in a building with different rooms. Let's look at another command. Type cd space tilde. Tilde is a squiggly character located in the upper left corner near the escape key on most keyboards. cd means change directories and the tilde is a shortcut that takes you to your home directory. Unix was designed for multiple users, and every user has a home directory. Let's talk about the structure of Unix commands. Unix commands are entered at a prompt. You enter a command and sometimes options in an argument. In books and blog posts, authors show the command prompt as a dollar sign. If you see a blog post that says enter a Unix command, and you see the dollar sign, you don't actually enter the dollar sign. The dollar sign is just a convention to show you that the computer is ready to receive a command. We entered the command cd and gave it an argument, which was the tilde shortcut. So let's see what's in our home directory. Enter ls. ls stands for list and lists the files and folders in the current working directory. Let's enter the ls command with options. Type ls space minus l. When I say minus, I mean the hyphen character, and this lists the files and folders in a long format displaying Unix permissions, file owner, date, and file size, as well as other details. Let's try again with another option. Type ls space minus la. You'll see files with names beginning with a dot. These are hidden files, usually configuration settings. This is enough to get started with Unix commands. You've learned about the terminal window, the command prompt, the file system, and the structure of Unix commands. Programmers always want to abbreviate everything to make it faster to type. That's why Unix commands seem cryptic at first. If you want to know what a Unix command does, you can try to look it up on Google, but a better approach is to use the website explainshell.com. I suggest you keep notes at first in a notebook or post-it notes and write down each new Unix command you encounter. You can make a little cheat sheet as you learn Unix commands. I'm already surprising myself with my knowledge of Unix commands, and I bet you'll surprise yourself too. If you're a subscriber, I'd like to say I appreciate your support for the project. To get more videos like this and learn about our project, send me an email. The address is more at fullstackvideos.com. Come back for more!